Do I have any regrets? Yes. <laughs> Hi, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Yashima and if you're new here, I create fashion, lifestyle, and home decor videos. So if you're into that type of thing, please consider subscribing, like, comment, share, do all the good things because I would love to have you back. Now today's video is, of course, as you've seen in the title, an update on my haircut. I transitioned from natural to now short relaxed hair so i'm gonna share with you guys all the things about you know what i've been doing with my hair since cutting it and it's actually four weeks to the date um that i got my hair cut today's the 17th i got my hair cut on december 17th and yeah i just want to share my thoughts and what i regret <laughs> about cutting my hair it's been four weeks since i've um gotten my hair cut I went to a professional because I didn't trust myself to do it on my own but I did relax my hair at home a few days uh, prior prior to uh, going to my appointment you guys saw the vlog so you you know what I did but I just want to share with you guys what I've been doing so I have not returned to the hair salon um, as of yet I do plan on doing it like whenever I need to do like a trim up or you know just to maintain the shape. Um, I know some people say having short hair you know it takes a lot of maintenance and I haven't really had like any mornings where I wake up and I didn't want to do my hair. Could just be that you know I'm still like in love with the process so I'm just really enjoying it. Um, but yeah I, I, I was super excited to go after she did a really good job. The hairstylist um, the only thing that I didn't like with the cut was that she took off too much in the back I kind of wanted the back to be a little bit more like soft and just to keep the length a little bit so you could do like the cute little curls in the back so I uh, will try to grow that part up but for the most part she did a really good job with their haircut um, uh, initially well when she did the cut I wasn't sure how long I wanted the front of my hair so she kept a lot of the length and then when I got home like a few days after I was like you know what I think I want it shorter so like when she did the cut my the hair in front here was I think to my nose yeah it was to to my nose to the tip of my nose and right now it's just like right in the middle right here so that's the length but I eventually cut it off because I figured I would have to do a lot more maintenance to keep that length. Um, so I just went ahead and just trimmed it. Um, I So that was like one of the first things I did. I went to Target and I got me a pair of shears. So this is what I used to cut the bangs off a little bit. And this is a Con Air brand and it does a really good job. And I wasn't scared. It was really, really easy. I didn't have a problem doing it myself. It took me literally an hour to get to the hairstylist and it had really bad traffic that day. So I got there a little late. She literally like, crossed me off the books by the time I got there because it was that late. But I was so thankful that she still took me. I was really, really impressed. I love how she did the soft waves and I've tried to like replicate it on my own but <laughs> it was a no-go. I, I, I need more practice um, with that part but I'm definitely going to go back to her in due time. I'm not in a rush. Like I said, it's been four weeks and I think I've done a really good job maintaining the style on my own. So I think I'm capable of just maintaining the cut myself as well. But if I don't feel I can, I will definitely go back to her without, you know, hesitating. Because she did a really good job and she made me feel very comfortable um, in her chair. I think I was just ready to, like, to just cut my hair and, you know, just, you know, do something different with my hair. So I think that was one of the, the reasons why I didn't feel like... You know anxious or anything um with respect to maintaining and shampooing and all that stuff i've only been using these two products and i was using them when my hair was natural like whenever i would take my hair out of like my protective style my wigs and all that i would shampoo my hair with these and this is the brand it's monday so i use the moisture um, shampoo for dry and damaged hair and it's paraben free cruelty free and uh, sulfate I guess SLS free 
and also the conditioner which is for thin lifeless hair so this gives um, a lot of volume to it I'm not even sure if my hair is dry and damaged or thin and lifeless <laughs> but I just knew that I saw volume and I saw moisture and I needed those two for my hair so I've been using these and I've actually been seeing a lot of difference on my natural hair whenever I wash my hair and condition my hair with these products. So I've gotten a lot of compliments of how like full of my hair is. Um, so I, I want to say that it's because of the conditioner, but it could be that I need to relax my hair as well. It's been four weeks, but I'm trying to go to six. So we'll see if I make it. After I shampoo my hair, I go and do the styling process. So if you are not aware, styling your short, relaxed hair requires molding of some sorts. I do it differently now because now I think I am like developing a routine that works for me. Um, I can't do the waves by myself, so like I just mold the back. I would curl the front, like just use the curls and I'll show you my tools um, in a bit. But when I curl the front with the, uh, with my uh, curling iron, my flat irons, I do the top first, like I do the top, I do like the sides and then in the very back I would just um, apply the, the wrapping lotion on just the back bottom part and then to the sides here just to keep it flat and for it to lay nicely. So that's what I do when it comes to the foam. When I first did my hair, this was all I had and this is what I was using on my natural hair. So I would just use this like in the same areas in the far back. The very nape of my neck and the sides so this do a really good job laying down the hair but you cannot use this all over because <laughs> I've learned my lesson it gets very sticky so it's a very sticky product so this I do not recommend you using this on your relaxed hair all over just use it on the sides that needs to lay so that's what I've been using this for and then I was I went to Sally's because I wanted the um, Nairobi wrap lotion. The Sally's that I went to did not have it, so I got this. This is the Elasta QP um, design wrapping foam, and this is literally trash. <laughs> this does nothing for molding or anything. I've been using it, yes, but I use it in combination with this and this so I would do like um, two pumps of this and a pump of this or two pumps of this and a pump of this and I that would give me like the consistency that would be good enough to you know do the molding on the sides because like I said this is sticky and this is more watery so like when you combine the two it's, it's just like a perfect mixture so I, I don't use this by itself I tried it doesn't work I will probably use it like just for the top if I ever need to but I don't think I will because I I finally got the Nairobi foam wrapping lotion so I use this for the first time today and I just use it on the back it dries very quickly and it's not sticky it's lightweight because I can feel I can't feel like any residue from it so I really like that I got it from Amazon it was expensive on Amazon I think it was eight dollars and these are under five I'll see how it goes like once I get my hair relaxed and I try to do the whole soft curl thing so I'll keep you guys posted on how I like this but yeah these are the wrapping lotions that I've been using and then once I do that I will wrap my hair and I had these from before I would use them to lay my edges whenever I wear wig so I've had these before I need to re up on these um, so this is the wrap in uh, styling strips and these just help to just lay the hair and help it hair dry faster I think without causing strays and stuff like that so it just really helps to lay the hair so that's what I do and then when it comes to like my curls and maintaining my my curls I have these two curling they're actually flat irons so for the longer part of my hair which is at the top I will use this and this is the Kristen Kristen S uh, flat iron this is a one inch barrel 
it's a flat iron but of course you can curl it it's really dirty because i use it a lot and i would use this on my uh, wigs to give myself some curls or flat iron or you know all that good stuff and then for my very short like the sides and the back i got this curling pencil curling iron from amazon this was like 19 dollars. so so far it's doing a really good job i like it it does what it has to do and then once my hair is all set like this like this is this is how it came out today once i completed styling my hair i would spray it with this this is the cara care oil sheen and i like using this um once i finish it because it, it gives it a nice uh, shine without like wearing down my hair and I don't like that feeling when my hair is like too heavy and then uh, with respect to my scalp I have a few more things guys when it comes to my scalp I use I uh, you know I'll think alternate between these two oils uh, this one is from the main choice and this is from fro love this is my sister's brand go check them out both black owned but i use this more so for like my temple area my edges because i've been trying to like get them back um, it doesn't i mean it doesn't look that bad now because it's been doing the job but i've been using this every now and again um, I had this before I got these. Yeah, I, I just alternate in between these two whenever I feel like my scalp is like really dry. Like right now it's dry, but I just got my hairstyle, so I'm not going to do that. I'll, I usually wear them, like I'll put it in at night and then wrap my hair. And then that will do the trick uh, for the morning so I don't have to worry about, you know, styling my hair or adding oils to my, um, my hair in the morning. And then um, when it comes to like whenever I feel like my hair strands needs a little bit reviving um, other than the oil sheen, I would use, I go in between these two as well. I usually use this like prior to like using my hot tools and then this I would use for, I don't know, I just use, <laughs> I just use it on the strands mostly um, if I feel like I don't want to spray sheen on my hair. Um, this is an anti-breakage breakage serum. So I would use this whenever I feel like my hair needs it, basically. There's still quite a lot. And this is the uh, Renewing Aragorn of Morocco Penetrating Oil. It really just restores hair shine, basically. But I like to use this prior to like using my hot tools. And then I mostly use this after. Didn't use this today because I didn't need it. My hair was already, like, you know, shiny and all that stuff. And then I had this for quite some time. This is also from Cara Care. It's a styling wax stick. I would use this on my wigs to help the strays to just lay flat and um, use a flat iron to keep it that way. So basically to train my wigs to, to lay a certain way. But when I went and got my hair done, the stylist used a wax after using like the, the curling iron to help I guess the curls stay and it really did so like I, I had my hair I didn't wash my hair for like maybe a week or so after I first got it done and the curls was just still like popping and I think it's because it's the wax that she used I'm not sure it was like this one but I, I'm just using this because it's what I have I've, I have had this for a while it's just a wax stick so like whenever I feel like I need to like help my hair lay down especially right now since my hair is growing out I've I've used this already for the week so I wouldn't use this more than once a week because it does cause a lot of buildup I really like how my hair looks in the back whenever I use this and to my sides as well I do I use that do I have any regrets yes <laughs> I regret not doing this sooner um, I really love the style. I know some people think that it takes forever uh, to get your hair done, but literally whenever I do my hair, like when it comes to like the whole process, yes, it's going to take a while. Like if you wash it on the same day, if you style it on the same day, all of that is going to take time. But let's say you're, you've already done that on the weekend and you're getting up to go to work. What I do in the, at night is just wrap my hair like at the top and I will just lay the sides down like flat and I would use a scarf to help you know keep the shape keep the style 
and you know everybody has a scarf this is the one i use i got this from walmart so doing that just helps to i guess cut down the time in the morning my hair is already curled from the day before whenever i first style it and all i have to do is comb it out usually in the mornings um, i have nails so i can just use my hands and like break through my hair but like in the mornings i would use like a comb like this to like just comb out the hair this is the felicia featherwood brush this helps to detangle but i use it to help wrap my hair at night and it does a really good job so that you don't have to use this this is just what i have and what i've been using and then for my sides like on the sides here when i'm setting whenever like in the morning I will just squeeze some on the brush, like a two, like toothpaste, <laughs> and just brush it on the side. Now, I'm not using toothpaste on my sides. I'm just using this brush with the foam. Usually, it's this one that I use because, like I said, this lays really well. So I will just, you know, squirt some on the brush and just uh, get the sides down. And that usually does the trick, if needs be. If not, then I'm just combing through the hair and going on my way it just helps to like part my hair get the designs in with the rat tail comb it just really helps and this is what i use i have this and another one um but those are all the tools those are all the products that i use for my hair and it's really not it doesn't take that much time to um get my hair done literally it takes like 10 15 minutes like if i'm using like if i'm recurling my hair in the morning or on my way to somewhere it usually takes me 10 to 15 minutes just to recurl it and restyle it if not then me wrapping it at night and just unwrapping it in the morning and just you know using my fingers literally takes me like five minutes all right guys it's another quick update so since recording this video i went ahead and cut my bangs just a little bit shorter and i also tapered the back I also went into Sally's earlier this week because I needed to re-up on those styling strips but I stumbled upon these two products from Ion. It's their uh, hair sheen and a light holding spray and I think they are making a world of a difference with um, how my hair is looking as well as this awesome flat iron that I picked up from Baby Bliss. It is amazing and it was only $30 so I definitely had to get my hands on it. Alright guys so that is all I just wanted to update you on what's new with my hair routine. This video is in no way uh, trying to convince anyone to cut their hair or relax their hair. I'm just giving you an update. I know nobody asks but <laughs> I figured it might help someone who may be thinking about uh, cutting their hair and want to know how to maintain it. I That's basically what I do. I wash my hair every week. Mostly. Yeah. I have been washing. It's been four weeks I've washed my hair four times since I've gotten my hair cut. I've styled it on my own. It's just literally like trial and error, just trying out what works for you and going with that. So for me, putting the wrap all over my, the, the wrapping lotion all over to like get the curls does not work for me. Well, I haven't figured out a routine for that yet, but what works for me now is just putting it where I need it, which is mostly in the back and on the sides to just keep the shape that I like. And then I like how my curls are, so I literally just curl my hair uh, going forward and then to the sides I curl it this way, uh, well also going for inwards and then of course I curl the bangs and I just, and I don't have like any particular way where I like curl the hair, I just curl it and I just let my hands do what it do. And a lot of you don't know, but like when I was younger, I thought I was going to be a hairstylist. That didn't quite happen, but I do have a lot of experience um, working in hair salons and um, learning a few things um, from those days of working part-time. So I do have that type of skill set uh, when it comes to like doing hair and everything. And I also used to do like hair hair. Like I, I know how to put wigs in. I know how to braid hair. I know how to do all those things. I just don't do it like for money. <laughs> anymore but yeah that's basically the video i'm hoping that was super helpful for you guys and uh yeah i just wanted to share an update on uh what i've been doing with my hair since i got it cut yeah i i just wished i've done it sooner i've been afraid of getting my hair cut for 
quite a while. The first time I wanted to get my hair cut was the first time I think my one of my good friends uh, from back home, she got her hair cut. I loved it. Like whoever she went to, like they did a really good job. It fit her, it, you know, it fit her face. I just never thought that like having short hair would look this good on me, honestly. <laughs> I feel so confident wearing my hair this way. Yeah, I just wish that I did it sooner and not like talk myself out of it for this long. Cause I've been wanting my hair cut like for a while, like years, like probably uh, ending of high school, going into to college. It's been a long time, but I'm now happy. I'm at this point, and I love how my hair looks. It, guys, look. I'm doing such a good job. Such a good job. I mean, of course, it could be better, but I'm not like a hairstyle. I'm not a professional. I don't know how to do all the things but for the most part it's it's doing what it needs to do it's giving and i'm here for it <laughs> so yeah this is the end of the video um i this was a bit all over the place because i didn't really plan it i just felt the need to like give an update on my hair so i hope that you guys you know take what you need from the video if you have short hair or considering short hair let me know in the comments if you found this helpful um and if you have any questions uh, anything that i may have missed in this video feel free to you know leave the questions below i'll answer as best as i can but yeah thank you guys for watching if you made it this far in the video of course, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.